want to begin with your folder structure. Now, I briefly talked about this the last time in the last video, so if you want to tune into that, it's toward the end of that video. Um, today, just you know, point it out. I'm using the online platform here, okay, Google Drive, and you can see here I have a main folder set up, DCG SA 2021 JLY. That'll be your exam number when you get that issue to you around Christmas time, okay? So for the moment, just put your initials there or your full name, all right? Now, inside that folder, I have two more folders. I have electronic portfolio and SOLIDWORKS port, uh, folder. To create those folders uh, on a desktop or online, all we have to do is right click and go new folder and you create a new folder and you can name it uh, as per the names that are given here. So what I want to distinguish is what do we use these folders for? Well, the electronic portfolio is going to be used for your actual, um, your actual physical, your document your portfolio itself. I'm using Google Slides for that. And you see there I have DCG Student Assignment 2021, okay? And I'll go into that in a minute. I'll just pop back out here and I'll go to the SOLIDWORKS folder because inside that SOLIDWORKS folder, I have two more folders, Part A and Part B. Uh, in the Part A folder is going to be all the parts for the SOLIDWORKS that is going to be done uh, for Part A of the project. That's where you've selected an item to model. And then Part B is going to be the SOLIDWORKS for the Part B, the project, where you uh, design or modify your own dash cam or power bank or so on. So that structure is the same, whether it's higher or ordinary level. And there are five marks available for that. Um, it's an easy five marks, so um, get that done at the start. I would have found over the years what becomes problematic is if we have that SOLIDWORKS folder and we have SOLIDWORKS files, if I am not saving them in this folder, all right, from the start, if I'm saving them on the desktop or in my documents or wherever you're saving them on your local machine in the school or whatever, you are going to find that when you do assemblies and after you've created an assembly and you start to move all those parts back into the main folder, it's possible that your assembly will not read the file path for where that file originally was. So then your assembly won't work properly. It won't, it won't build itself properly. So we need to be really careful there. So we want to kind of sidestep any uh, problems down the line by simply creating our folder structure. And when we begin SOLIDWORKS that you would put it, the part A parts in there along with the assembly, e-drawn files, photorealistic images or so on. And also the same for the part B, all right? Then you will have no issues regarding uh, files being sought or looked for by the program itself um, if you have moved them around, okay? So, leaning back out here, um, 